Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you, something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. Okay. Sagittarius. for Sagittarius they don't expect but their awareness of it would benefit them what's going on for Sagittarius <laughs> okay ten of wands five of cups oh, show me more Someone's going through a rough time emotionally. Ten of Swords, wow. Someone's going through a very tough transitional period right now. Okay, look at the intensity of these cards here. Lots of gray and dark colors. We have two number tens and number five. There's some type of transitional period going on for somebody. This is either you or someone that you are connected with. Okay, someone's heavily burdened about some type of ending, some type of loss. Someone's depressed. Okay, crying a lot. It's a very brutal energy. There could have been a very difficult ending for someone recently. Okay. Alright, we're done with this deck. Okay. For now. You could have ended something with someone or cut ties with someone or this happened to you. Um, someone could have lost their job or where they lived. Um, it feels more it feels way more emotional than anything. Like it's not just about a physical loss. There's definitely something about an emotional loss or a very difficult time emotionally in general. Okay. Somebody has to start all over, or somebody feels alone. Okay, very sad. Okay. Show me more for Sagittarius. More details, please. What's going on here? You may not realize that someone is, is having such a difficult time right now. Or if this is you, other people don't realize this about you. Queen of Wands. Okay, someone... Could have been betrayed by a feminine energy. Um, there could be a masculine energy who was cheated on. King of Cups, yeah. There's a masculine energy who's like very emotional right now. Could like literally be crying quite a bit. There's a there's a ruthless feminine energy attached to this masculine energy. You could have really cut somebody off, like very strictly. You could be very, you could be portraying like a very angry energy towards this person. They're going through a rough time. I just want to say that. Okay. strength card okay Leo energy okay this could have been difficult for both people um, there could be a feminine energy who felt like they really had to just cut somebody off and cut somebody out leaving a masculine energy in some like emotional turmoil but the feminine energy is heavily burdened with this as well. 
okay someone could be not taking the loss of you very well or they feel like they've lost you or you've cut this person out and cut them off and it's making this person like overly emotional show me more please What's happening with this for Sagittarius? Why are we talking about this with Sagittarius? These are two people who are taking an ending in two different ways, but still not easy for either of these people. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Cups. It's like for, it might have been a situation where someone for a while knew they had to walk away and they couldn't walk away and they were heavily burdened by this. Okay. But if somebody like left somebody, ended something with someone, or somebody fired somebody. There's something very cold about a feminine energy in this situation. Um, you could, this could have happened with you in a divine masculine or a masculine energy. This also could be if you're not, if you're not in physical union with this masculine energy or you weren't, um, this could be talking about something that's happening in a masculine energy's life around you or you, this is happening to you as a masculine energy. There's also something about somebody has some divine counterpart that's going through an ending with a karmic and it's weighing on them as well because they're really connected to this person because you're really connected to this person. Like there could be something where like someone's feeling their divine counterpart go through some type of ending or breakup. Yeah, death card. Somebody's not taking an ending well at all. Taking it very difficultly. Um, difficultly. <laughs> um, Scorpio energy here. Major transi transitional time for a masculine energy though. Whoever this masculine energy is. <laughs> it's you or someone that you're connected with or someone. Um, there also could be King of Swords here at the end. Okay, there's also something about how, um, there could be a message about how somebody um, was very focused in their masculine energy, even if they're typically feminine or typically in their feminine energy or whatever. Someone was heavily focused in their masculine energy. There could have been something where someone went through a period of time where they couldn't access their emotions as well. And it made them very cold or very angry. But either way, whatever it is, masculine energy is going through some sort, sort of transitional energy to finally close out some sort of cycle, regain their strength and clarity. Um, somebody is more clear minded at the end of this after this ending finally happens something was like it needed to be purged or it needed something a cycle needed to end or somebody needed to have some sort of realization so that's why this is happening um let me get some from this deck really quickly So there definitely could be a message about how you're sensing a divine counterpart go through some major transition in life, a major loss as well, um, or just uh, something that was really heavily burden burdensome to someone, ending, and it's really it was really difficult for them. So you're either sensing this about them or you ended things with someone or this is you going through a major ending.
Show me more about this for Sagittarius. Um, could have something to do with the sign Gemini, I want to say. Or Aquarius. Ooh. Okay. Well, yeah, we have Peacock and then we have Love. So this is definitely a divine counterpart for someone. This is about somebody's divine counterpart. Um, the Peacock is about the divine in this deck and in general. So it always makes me think of divine counterparts, but especially coming out with the Love card. Um, this transitional period is for someone's betterment because somebody was very locked off from their emotions or very like kept away from their emotions, did not have access to their emotions. Okay, looming change. Someone is not comfortable with change or not comfortable with this transitional transitional period. There's something very uncomfortable about it and something very depressing and dark and heavy about it as well. Um, somebody's making room, someone's like purging and making room for a divine connection as well. Mushrooms. Quiet growth that can't necessarily be seen right away, but things are happening and things are moving. Um, something might feel very stagnant and hard for somebody, but it's actually, it's not stagnant. It's at the five, so it's still moving and it's still progressing. It's just... I keep saying it, but at that transitional period, um, there's growth and there's movement, but it's not as obvious. This, could, this, this time could have taken a while for someone, this dropping of this burden, purging, could have taken a while. But the mushrooms are about quiet growth. Things are moving slowly and in divine timing. Somebody's slowly regaining their strength um, and regaining a clear mind. More messages for Sagittarius, please. Ooh, I don't know what that was. It looked like the full, but I'm not sure, page of wands. Somebody feels as though they're starting over, or they need to start over, or they did start over. Um, somebody's also connecting with their child, childhood self or aspects of them that they put away with their childhood. The lovers, okay, coming out after the love card too, which is pretty awesome. So what I was just about to say, somebody's like going on a date or just starting to talk to or just starting to rekindle things with a divine counterpart. Soulmates, divine counterpart in general. Um, that's what I was wanting to say with the page of wands, but definitely with the lovers coming out. Someone might have a divine counterpart that's going through like a, a pretty, um, I want to say dramatic, but a pretty hefty change with some sort of karmic energy that they were involved with. Okay, they need to purge this karmic energy of this karmic person. But somebody's divine masculine kind of feels like they need their divine feminine to help them through this. They could consciously be aware of this, or it's more of their higher self that's aware of this. Um, some divine feminines might actually be sending a lot of like love and nurturing energy to divine masculines as they're going through some sort of cycle change. It's not for everyone. It depends. Queen of Swords. 
So, for divine counterparts, well, for divine counterparts, and even when you're, I'm um, speak like even even in in a way of speaking of your divine feminine and your divine masculine energy, just in general, because everyone has both. So I could be talking about divine counterparts and your divine feminine, divine masculine energy within you, or either or, whichever. There's definitely some alignment that the divine feminine, divine masculine energies are coming into here. Slowly and quietly, okay? There's definitely some sort of realization. Well, that's just what I'm saying with the king and the queen of swords coming out here together. having a lot of clarity with Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine as as separate things and as a whole. Hopefully I'm making sense. I don't always make sense, but um, <laughs> show me more please for Sagittarius. Some sort of alignment and clarity that Divine Timing and cycles are taking someone to the fool there's definitely a note about how someone feels like they're starting over and they're needing to go off on their own and do something um, something feels very brand new um, it's like exciting but a little scary that's what the pages will say to me sometimes too. It's like somebody's new at something, but it's still exciting, it's still a new beginning. That was the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love coming out of this purging energy here in the middle. Somebody finally having access to emotions that they haven't accessed in a long time. King of Wands. Yeah, okay. So there might be a little bit of, um, I suppose, an obsessive energy with the masculine. Or strong determination. Um, this masculine energy is very attracted to a feminine energy. But yeah, it could be coming off as obsessive. Or how determined they are comes off as obsessive. Strength here at the end again. There's definitely a message about calming the beast or a masculine energy feeling like a feminine energy kind of calms them or can handle them. There's definitely a message about that. Taming a beast. Okay, so in general, what is going on here that Sagittarius needs to be aware of? What should Sagittarius be aware of in this situation, mostly? What does Sagittarius need to know for their highest good here? Four of Cups. There's some like low vibrational energy that someone's picking up on or some like annoyed energy or unsatisfied energy that someone's picking up on. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is getting a hang of being on their own. Somebody's like feeling their divine counterpart finally be on their own for the first time in a while. Magician here at the end. 
So some powerful things are in the works is what I want to say. Some big manifestations are in the works. Show me more about this magician. Uh, but somebody's like dealing with codependency issues that they have. There's definitely a message about codependency issues. I want to say that. Um, especially with the devil out here. With the king of wands. Something's coming off as obsessive. Somebody's just starting to deal with their codependency issues. Um, okay. So with the powerful things manifesting, the eight of swords came out. And then after that, the star and the tower came out. So what that says to me is somebody's, the way somebody's thinking of something is kind of holding something off from manifesting. And it's for a divine timing, for a divine purpose, especially with this eight of swords. They're in the cocoon and they're not ready to come out, but they will be ready to come out when the time is perfect. So a manifestation will come when the time is perfect, especially with the star in the tower here. It will be shocking and it, wishes are coming true. Certain things that you've wished for or hoped for are coming true. That's what this says to me. They will come in shocking form, but there's something about your beliefs on what's manifesting that's holding off or adding resistance to the thing manifesting whatever it is for you um but it will come in a shocking form where all of a sudden you're getting some sort of wish fulfillment but yeah in divine timing okay um get some messages from this deck There might be a message about how divine counterparts are ready to communicate something to one another or are getting ready to communicate something. All right, what final messages do we have for Sagittarius? What should what what does Sagittarius need to hear the most for their highest good? We have beautiful soul you glow when you are comfortable in your skin your beauty goes beyond what you can see in the mirror you are perfect as you are be confident shine your light take up space you don't need anyone's approval you deserve to be proud of who you are okay that's a message for you um, then we have enjoy the process celebrate every small step forward you are doing an amazing job the journey is the gift Get out of your own way. You are the reason, the cause, and the solution. Take back your power by remembering who you are. Okay, and the last one, ask and receive. You get what you have you get what you have the courage to ask for. Ask for help or support. Yeah, there could be something about not exactly knowing. Someone's not exactly sure exactly what they want. So something is taking time to actually manifest for someone but i think this could be mirroring in a divine feminine divine masculine situation with divine counterparts um but again as i was saying earlier also in divine masculine divine feminine energy within one person but i think that this is helping um divine feminine divine masculine be more clear on what they want what they want to manifest so they can actually ask for it so they can actually have a direction in what they want to move towards so that manifestations can happen easier Whatever's trying to be manifested, whether that's consciously or by your higher self. So thank you very much, uh, Sagittarius. I wish you the best of luck as you move through the situation. Um, lots and lots of love to you as you move through the situation. If you would like a personal reading, you can check out the description. I will also include a 10% discount in the description um, for any of my readings from my website, only not from Wissio, but from my website. Um, that'll all be in the description if you're interested. So thank you again and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.